We gladly welcome you back, fellow Kingdom citizens and potential dominators of the world, to this episode from our Empowerment Module. In our previous episode, we looked at diligence and we learned that diligence means hard work in simple terms. Success is not for the slothful, but those who work hard, we did say. We also got to understand that you cannot progress in life or achieve influential results until you are paid the price through diligent pressing. Enviable results, we said, require steady efforts. We also got informed that you must work your way into success because those who labor are the people who qualify for wages. And the only major contribution laziness can add to your life is to destroy whatever goal, vision, or purpose you have. Now, in this module, we shall be learning about an important topic, which is many look, but few see. The module will be divided into two sessions for today and next week to enable us to stay within time. Today, we shall deal with the looking aspect, and in the next week module, we shall come your way with the seeing part as well. Now, permit me to start with these legitimate conclusions that I have drawn. First, how great you can become is a function of the depth, length, breadth, and weight of your mental scene, orchestrated in your actions rather than your looking. One of the greatest tragedies in the world is to watch potentially glamorous destinies turned into paupers and beggars as a result of too much concentration on looking, which is the second. And third, the widespread rumor that God created some to be rich and others to be poor is not just the greatest fallacy, but also the most disastrous killer of destinies. These are few other observations I have made under the sun. In my few years on earth, I have seen age mates turn to beggars. I have seen people who had erstwhile golden job opportunities now turn drunkards and hopeless. And a lot more tragic lifestyles have hit people who could have potentially been great. I have seen people wallow in the mire of mediocrity. And I believe that perhaps your own observations are as similar as mine. Now, what do we mean by looking? To look entails getting fixated on what the natural eye can grasp. Looking is more present focused or immediate related. Looking captures what exists at a particular moment. And the unpopular observation is that getting fixated on the things that your natural eye can grasp would only end you up as a mediocre because it becomes to you a distraction and obstruction. In fact, looking highlights the weaknesses that you have or people may say about you and it makes it so much resounding to you. Looking catches what only the natural eye can behold. The environment is full of naysayers, so looking to the words and actions towards you may become a great encumbrance to your best version. Now, let us look at this biblical text in Genesis chapter 13, verse 14 to 15. And the Bible says that the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had departed from him, look around where you are, to the north and south and to the east and west. All the land that you see, I will give you, I will give to you and to your offspring forever. <laughs> now the important thing is this. God told Abraham to look. But it was only Abraham could see that he was qualified to possess. God did not give Abraham the land he looked at, but the land he saw. Does this speak something to you? Yes, right? Looking does not guarantee possession. For anything you look at to be translated into your possession, it must be backed by seeing. 
In fact, what you look at, if not seen, cannot be committed to you. We'll stop with you here for today and delve much deeper next week. Thank you for joining the Grace Outreach Global Foundation in this powerful and life-transforming module. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button to have first-hand notification when we do post new content and do follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please be expectant as we come your way with the second part of this message next week. Next week's session will be detailed and epic. Be sure not to miss out as we endeavor to learn together for domination. Please share the link to this channel with friends and family and let's learn together and transform ourselves for dominion together. My name is Derek Ankwan Akujo, the founder and the president of Grace Outreach Global Foundation. And on this empowerment module platform, the slogan is always empowering and transforming ourselves for domination. Let's keep working to meet ourselves at the top. Be blessed.